Investigation into a motel in Tampa has ended with three arrests and authorities say there could be more. The hotel located on Nebraska Avenue was under surveillance after complaints about drug deals in the rooms rented out. Our Vanessa Ariza has been digging for answers today. She spoke with residents who live nearby and is looking into how many times police have been called to the area. Nebraska Avenue has quite the reputation and it is not a glowing one. A search warrant served here at Haven Inn Motel led to three arrests last night. Residents in the area say they know this wasn't the first time something like this has happened and unfortunately they know it won't be the last. You are taking a look at video captured after a search warrant was served at the Haven Inn Motel. This happened just before 8 o'clock Tuesday night. The ATF assisting Tampa police. Authorities tell us an investigation has been underway since July after people who live in the area reported drug deals taking place in various rooms. The investigation ended with three people behind bars, two retrieved guns, one of which was stolen, and drugs, including cocaine, fentanyl, and synthetic cannabis. It's the real underbelly of Tampa. It's sort of the epicenter of Tampa's underbelly, and it needs to be cleaned up. Brian Choate has lived in the area for close to five years, and oftentimes he has seen suspicious activity from the motel spill into his neighborhood. It was just a few months ago, in fact, that he says he saw a similar scene like what unfolded Tuesday night. There was a, um, a lot of militaristic looking vehicles, guys in flak jackets, guns drawn, uh, maybe even some canines. And that's when it all seemed to round the corner. It is no surprise he and his neighbors want to see action and change. The recent arrests and bus, he says, is a step. If it's not getting better, it's going to get worse. And fortunately now it seems like there's at least a nominal effort to make things better. This isn't the first time authorities have been called to the motel. We looked into how many times police responded to the area, whether it be on a call or initiating a stop themselves. Since the first of the year, Police have responded to the motel 301 times. Police say this may not be the end, adding there could be more arrests and charges forthcoming. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.